Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today I'm here with a straightening hair um, video. So I have been editing this video and trying to cut off all the extra bits and oh my gosh, it's still so long. So I will put timestamps in the description and also in a pinned comment. So if you only just want to see the key bits, you can go to them. And what I'm thinking of doing at a later stage is just editing the video down just to the like straightening parts. I haven't been on camera for so long, so please excuse me. I feel quite rusty. Um, yeah, I haven't been, I don't think I've recorded since last year. And at the moment my washing machine is on so please excuse that as well um i still have a cold flu type thing so my throat is just really bothering me <clears throat> i know it's going to get quite warm but it's chilly down here at the moment and i have an energy drink to give me some energy because i'm lagging i just finished a whole load of chores so i'm quite tired anyway i'm gonna blow dry my hair first so I washed my hair already, I washed it this morning. I washed it with this shampoo and then I and then I conditioned it. I conditioned it with my silicone mix. Oh my gosh, I love that stuff. I've forgotten how much I love it. I've been decluttering and trying to use up all the stuff that I've got already and I found the silicone mix. So I used that. I also used the Chi, I think it's called Inf Infra um heat something another i'll put the name up here and show you the two conditioners that i used i also um showed you the conditioner being sat in my hair for a while while i was doing my chores i let the conditioner stay on my hair then i rinsed it out and then i did a rice water rinse and this is what my hair is like now so i actually straightened it over christmas when I um, straightened it, it was in, it was really, really late, like in the morning, like after two or three, so I didn't record. So I'm going to be on another heat. Oh my gosh, that the washing machine. <laughs> I'm gonna be on another heat um, fan. So I thought, let me come and straighten my hair one more time and actually put it on camera this time so to blow dry my hair i'm gonna use this this time around the chi straight guard again it was something that i've got in my stash that i'm trying to use up and because i didn't use heat in my hair last year i didn't use this at all so i'm gonna try this this is the straight guard smoothing styling cream so i'm gonna put this in my hair um and this keratin mist i'm gonna put this so i'm gonna put these two in my hair to blow dry and then when I use my straighteners, I'm gonna be using the Chi Keratin Silk Infusion. I might even do, you know, that's like the silk kind of, I don't know, like the silk press method where you wrap your hair in cling film and go underneath like a dryer. I might try that this time. Anyway, let's get started. I've talked a lot. So the blow dryer I'm going to use, I'm gonna use the tension method with my silver crest and then I'm going to go over it with the Nikki Clark, Nikki Clark Air Styler I think it's called and I have a video on this well I've got two videos going through this so I will put them in the description and maybe a card if I remember anyway so like I said this is my hair so with no product in there and I'm glad that I don't seem to have any signs of heat damage from my last straightening but it's not fully back to its curls obviously because I only just washed it once so I'm gonna try I the what do you call it the thing broke of this so hopefully I can still get it out oh the plastic things there just smells like they're um oh no i don't want to use that yet i want to use this so i'm going to put the keratin mist i'm just going to spray some and this is going to be my heat protectant well they all have like heat protecting um properties but this is what i'm going to use as my heat protectant spray i 
but I'm just making sure it's going all the way through. And I'm going to work in sections. Let me see how long this washing machine load is and if it's for long I'm just gonna pause it one moment oh well. <laughs> I didn't realize it was still recording okay so um it had like 13 minutes to go so I paused it yeah that's it telling me that it's paused because it was on the spin and I'm just making sure that all the um I'm gonna put some extra on my ends that it's all incorporated in there and then I'm gonna add some of this I'm not gonna put too much because I realized in the past what I've been doing is I've been putting quite a lot of product in my hair because I didn't want it to be all dried out with the dryer I've been putting so much um, product in my hair and that kind of caused me not to have a like the results that I wanted for it to be straight so the last time I put like the minimum bare minimum <coughs> excuse me the bare minimum and that seemed to work really well actually I think I when did I straighten it I think I straightened it Christmas Eve so the 24th whoops that is too much my goodness I can't put it back in the bottle either. I don't have the pump on there, so too much came out. Yeah, so I'm going to use that much. That might even be too much. But yeah, so I strained it on the 24th and I it lasted until today, which is the something of January. <laughs> the, um, the 23rd of January. So, OK, so it lasted a month which hardly ever happens but I think that's because I've been inside the house normally when I go out the um like the elements the the cold and the rain and the humidity causes my hair to revert but like I said I've just been in the house because we're in lockdown so um <clears throat> my hair stayed straight for a long time I went out once um to get to quickly collect something from my son's school and that day it was kind of drizzly you know when it's drizzly and my hair puffed up and that's when it started to revert so I'm gonna try and keep it for as long as I can and then I'm gonna go back into my protective styling um, I might do like mini twists or, or, or plaits, I'm not sure. So anyway, I'm going to continue and I'll be back. Okay, and now I'm going to just detangle and I'm going to be using this tangle, tangle brush. And I can't even remember what brand, I think it's Angel or something because it's got the wings on it and while I was putting the hair product in my hair I was um, finger detangling because I normally finger, deta finger detangle I don't really normally like to use brushes or combs but I want it to blow dry nicely And then I'm going to use the tension method first and I could just use just one um, dryer but I find the tank the tension this thing getting on my nerves the tension method works best with this dryer and then that um, the Nikki Cluck really like stra straightens it out and kind of gets my roots quite kind of straight so that's why I'm using that.
okay so this is what it's looking at so far it feels so dry because I've, i haven't put like a proper moisturizer in there me but yeah my mirror's hair so excuse me if i was looking away sometimes but that's what we're looking at and i like it it's nice it's not it's not dead straight or as tight as it could be but um i definitely don't want to cause too much um tension on my hair so yeah i'm gonna go round my head and i'll be back band in the back oh excuse me my nose mm. oh. so 
this is what it's looking like at the moment blow dried out i'm just gonna go over it all because it feels like there's some um like it's not fully dry all over so i'm just gonna go back with this so cold down here oh my goodness I'm freezing so <laughs> here we go this is what it looks like all blown out like I said before I wasn't doing it super sleek because I'm actually going to straighten my hair if I was only blow drying it then I would have spent longer and really stretched it out and everything but yeah my straighteners will do the rest I'm going to section my hair off again back into the four sections but I'm going to like get the part that I want first yeah that's it right <clears throat> excuse me oh my gosh my throat and my chest so i'm gonna be using the chi keratin silk confusion like i said i love this stuff love it and because i don't use heat that much on my hair now this lasts so long and i'm going to use about that much on each section trying not to overdo it because i can really do that with product And I'm making sure all the tangles are out and I don't normally use like a um this fit finer comb in my hair but I want it to be straight so and just that much don't know if you could see that and I love this I love the silk infusion it really gives a nice um like a nice finish to the hair i've seen this um i think by design essentials i think i've seen that might be good and again like i said i have used um the paul mitchell super skinny serum i've used that as well and that works well um but i find like you know the silk confusion really really does that extra thing Gives it the extra. I keep forgetting not to keep looking in my mirror. I don't know where all, all my clips have gone, so... Five eighteen now and I forgot to have lunch today so I'm gonna be having these sweet potato mango and cinnamon bites Zemb or Zembi my mummy sent me these so I'm gonna see what these are like it smells like baby food <laughs> I don't know if it's meant to be so mm -mm. <clears throat> they're a little bit weird so they're a little bit weird I don't know whether it's meant to be sweet or savory they're all right though definitely what um it's good for that that kind of snacky lunchtime thing so I forgot to put my straighteners on. Oh my gosh, after all that. See, I chat too much. 
so I'm using my GHDs I love these and I've had them for years and whoop. I can't believe I didn't I only I can't believe I didn't use them last year only like I said at Christmas a whole year without straightening my hair and it helped because um yeah it definitely helped my hair is what's this should I have too much yeah it helped because um my hair seemed to have plateaued and it didn't seem like it was retaining length but um yeah since i did the no heat and i was like protective styling so much it really did seem to do the trick so yeah and i've also got this like a hot tool holder which i'm gonna be saving my kitchen table <laughs> it doesn't take long to heat up at all so um yeah, that's that's what I love about it as well. And um there you go, so it didn't take long at all to heat up and I'm using I'm getting like small sections so I'm gonna half this and I used to put a piece of serum on each time I um straighten them that's what really weighed my hair down and i'm using the brush chase method got like this ball bristle brush this one is by denman and i'm going to use that to chase i used to use the comb to chase and that's really nice but i find when i use the brush it gets all the like um the hair together and also if um that section might have been too big actually and what was i saying oops i find it still gives me volume when i use the brush when i use the comb because when my hair when i straighten it is quite it can look quite flat the brush gives it a little bit of volume and i'm gonna go slower now and I know some people only do one pass, but I'm going to do about two or three passes because I want my hair to be quite straight. And my hair, um, it doesn't take, I don't know, it's not coarse, but it's kind of stubborn. <laughs> so it doesn't straighten, like it doesn't straighten with one pass. So, and that's it. So if... um like many passes is gonna bother you um really sorry but <laughs> i want it to be as straight as i can get it because i'm not going to be using heat again probably for the whole year i won't say well maybe but um yeah i don't think i'll be using it for the year again so i want to get it nice and straight and that looks nice And I kind of crimp down on my roots. And I have to kind of remember not to go too fast. Not too fast, but not too slow, because I don't want to burn off my hair. <laughs> and all the way down to the tips, because what I um, found myself doing sometimes was not getting right to the end. And that um, that gave me an uneven finish. And this part is kind of like, it can be tedious or like, I don't know how to explain it, but sometimes it can just be nice and 
get into a groove. It does take a long time though. And my hair's not even that long. So imagine those people with really long hair. It must take them ages. Or really, really thick hair. My hair used to be really thick. Well, quite thick. But I found in the last couple of years, while I've been quite like ill and the moods and all the rest of it, I noticed my hair... Um, kind of thinning out and especially the edges but thank god last year with the protective styling and no heat and just trying to really focus on my focus on my hair um has helped like helped my edges they're really growing nicely i've been using the hairlicious more and the rice water and that's really been doing good on my hair so and that's really been helping. And I find if you really like clamp down on the um, straighteners, that helps as well. And I finally got my hair clear past my shoulders. I'm so happy. Like I said, it seemed like I was going through such a plateau. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is continue round and then I'll be back. side this is my um i don't know it's like an awkward side because this is my dominant hand so i thought i'd come and kind of share a little bit of tips to get it like taught and do the chasing method i find it helps if i hold the hair with this hand get the brush or the comb here hold on like this with this hand check that I've got the hair here and then face this way and pull it down so I'm I'm not looking at it but I can kind of guide it down and then I find that helps and then if I want to do a third pass I just quickly do it this way like that quickly show again get the piece of hair non-dominant hand hold on to it get the brush or the comb let my non-dominant hand hold it between my thumb and my pincher finger or first finger. Get the straighteners. Make sure I've got it. Like clamp it. Then turn my head to the side. And guide the straighteners down with the brush. And pull it down. And then do the third pass again okay so the back of my hair is done now and it feels nice i was worried that it was going to feel dry because the blow dry hair it feels quite dry but it feels so nice i must admit it feels soft and just nice <laughs> um these bites i'm not really feeling them right now so my mummy also got me a kind bar i, I don't like to eat these kind of things are a lot because they're quite sweet but I need a bit of energy so I'm gonna have some of this 
and continue to do my hair so i'm gonna i'm gonna continue to do i'm gonna continue to do the top of my hair the top of my hair is easier than the back i find because my hands are more um they're more free at the top So I'm going to continue and do all of this and I'll be back again. <laughs> so I thought I'd come back to show you um, me doing the front of my hair, like where the edges are and everything. So I'm going to put the very, very edge part. I'm going to do this bit first. This section looks a bit big. Why, as I continue to do my hair, I start getting a bit lazy and I don't do them small enough. So I found to get a really nice finish, it's make the this, this sections as, like quite small. Sorry guys, I forgot that I was looking at the mirror and looking down. I probably fast that piece out. Okay, so these parts nearest my edges. I'm still going to try and, you know, not to put too much pressure on my edges, but I do want them to kind of be smooth. I kind of clamp the hair here and then I go downwards to get these edgy bits. And I don't go as slow on the edgy bits because they're my um, more fragile parts of my head, of my hair. And then, like these bits, I kind of just crimp them like that. And like I said, I try not to damage them too much because as you can see, I'm really trying to grow them back. And then with that part of it, I just kind of brush it quickly, not I don't like let it go onto my skin. I kind of like hover it over like a brush and that's it. So again, I just do the hair as usual or as normal. But I don't spend, I don't do it too slow. The silk infusion makes it so shiny, so nice. And then my third. And then, like I say, I get the little edgy bits and just crimp it. And then with the back. So you could go like really, really close, but like I say, I'm trying not to put too much pressure on my edges. And I can just smooth that down with some um, like edge tamer or edge control, whatever. 
when I need to, but I'm not going anywhere, so I don't really mind. All right, one more quarter to go. <laughs> right i'm at the last bit now so whew, it's been a while <laughs> and it's even <clears throat> excuse me i don't know if you can notice but it's gone dark outside now that's how long i've been doing it <laughs> front because <clears throat> excuse me because it's right near my um forehead and I kind of sweat I must admit I have the tendency of really going over it a lot but I've got to be careful of my edges a bit too close there <laughs> finally see some movement in these fringy bits they're really growing out nicely now so I'm glad about that and another trick to get like volume is to like pull the straighteners up but yeah I'm all right <laughs> my arms are getting so tired so I'm just going to do it how I've been doing it. This is actually one of the straightest I've got my hair since I've been natural. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that's wrong side. So I am quite happy with it. I'm very happy with it. And it might be because um, I straightened it before, so my hair's kind of got that memory in it. And that might be it. Because when I straightened it at Christmas, it wasn't this straight at all. Or it might be the um, elasticizer. Because I haven't used the elasticizer for a long time. I found it in my stash and I used it. And so it could be that as well. I just remembered when I used the elasticizer, oh my gosh, I really noticed a difference. Right, the last bit. Just cramping, cramping, clamping the edgy bits. And then using this bit like a brush. Right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's how it is. It is very flowy, which I like. Oh, <laughs> which I like. And it might not be bone, bone, bone straight, but I love the way it's come out this time round it is very nice i'm thinking whether to do the the cling film thing i don't want it to go like it looks nice it looks nice as it is and i don't want to like spoil it i'm wondering i might just do it in for a penny and for a pound i say so yeah i'm really happy with it though um all right, so I'm going to wrap my hair and put the cling film on it. I don't know if I'm going to even record me trying to get my hair in a wrap because I'm so bad at it. <laughs> I'll try. Let me turn this off. Um, all right, I'll try. I'm so bad at this. See, what do you do? Do you go at your air? I, <laughs> I can never remember. Right, 
No, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I told you I'm not good at this. All right, I'm going to wrap it and I'm going to be back. Oh my gosh, that took far too long. And I don't think I'm going to do it again because I'm sure my hair just got frizzy doing it. So I put the cling film on top. I hope it works out. And I'm going to put this um, soft hood thing on. And I'm going to sit under here for maybe about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Oops. I'm going to watch a bit of YouTube. I'm going to watch a bit of YouTube while I wait. And hopefully, oh my gosh, I'm hoping that it works Oh, all right, let's go. Oh, I plugged it out. <laughs> I plugged it out to put my straighteners in. Oh my gosh, it's too powerful. <laughs> I'm going to have to hold it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing is so powerful. It's pulling my hair. I'm hoping that it's not gone funny inside. Oh my gosh. As you can see this happened so i'm hoping that i haven't ruined my hair look <laughs> so <coughs> excuse me so i'm gonna take this off and let my hair kind of cool down hopefully i think the cling film came off to be honest okay so it almost came oh my gosh <laughs> Woo. All right, I'm going to let it just cool down for a little bit longer. It's now, oh my gosh, 7.23. So I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> and I've got to cook dinner. So I'm going to let this cool down for a few more minutes. Still feels a bit warm. Yeah, I'm going to let it cool down for a few more minutes. I'm going to pack up these bits and pieces while... I, while I wait, because I'm on the kitchen table right now and like I said, I'm going to do dinner. So I'm going to pack up the stuff and then um, come back in a few. Oh my gosh, please don't ruin, please don't ruin. Okay, slight change. I took the cling film off because I seem to remember that um if you leave it on off like to cool down i think maybe sweat might go underneath or or humidity i'm not sure anyway i took it off and i'm gonna leave the wrap to cool down a little bit okay okay so here we this is what we're looking at 
excuse if you hear my youngest shouting upstairs who's on his game okay how do you take the wrap down are you just okay yes all right okay <laughs> all right so <laughs> Um, I think it was worth it actually it was worth doing that little step obviously I didn't get it I didn't get it like 100% right Ooh. oh no it is it is worth it it was worth it I just have to um to what's the word oh my gosh I can't stop playing with it I just have to um what's the word I'm looking for um do the technique right. What do you call it when you work on your technique? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm tired now. <laughs> but yeah, that extra wrap. And um, just to add actually to that, I put a little bit more of the chi, um, the chi silk infusion. I put a little bit more in my hand, rubbed it all over my hair and like rubbed more in it. And then I wrapped my hair. So I added a little bit more. Um, and that really did help. Hold on, let me get my brush. I packed my brush away. Okay, so I'm not putting edge tamer or anything like that on because like, I'm not going anywhere this evening. Or any evening, to be fair. <laughs> Lockdown um yeah i'm happy with it how do them the ladies do that fluff back thing when they fluff it up and it just goes i don't know how they do it but anyway this is the results or these are the results of my straightening and i realized i don't have any earrings in oh my gosh that's because i was washing my hair my face is dry as well um how do they do that thing and they go and it just goes woo anyway so i am happy with it as you can see i'm still playing with it i'm happy with the results and my hair whenever i straighten it it always looks better the day after like when i go to bed and um like wrap it or put it back and whatever and then wake up it always looks better but this, look at the flow. I'm liking this. How do they do it? They go, no. <laughs> anyway, I, again, I'm going to say I do love this look. And as for my hair, I think I've started to get out of the plateau. When I put it to the front, I realised because I'm a larger lady, when I put my hair to the front, it doesn't come anywhere because I like I'm a, I'm a larger lady. I'm also quite tall. So it looks like it's just I'm like, why is my hair never coming anywhere? But if you put it to the back, you can see that it's definitely I've got past the plateau. My hair is way past my shoulders now. Also, like my back as well. I'm quite tall, so it doesn't come down as far as it might. But um. I guess that's why people do the measurements with measuring tape. I can't be asked. So I am glad that I'm out of that plateau I was in last year. Definitely the protective styling, the trying to continue with my healthy hair practices. That really helped. My ends could do with a trim, but I'm not going to be trimming for now. Um, let me see. Yeah, the last time I trimmed, I think, was when I put it on my channel. So that was, when was that? January or March or something of last year. So I haven't trimmed my hair since. Was it March? I think it might have been March because if I remember rightly, we was just in the first lockdown. But um, yeah, so it hasn't been trimmed. So it, it can do with a trim, I guess. But um, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to just straighten my hair and get it on camera so that I have a point of reference and also I can see where my hair was at and yes who is this 
straight hair who this no i'm only kidding i better stop anyway i'm gonna go i'm gonna do dinner for everyone and i can't stop looking at it so this part here is just so straight I really, it really did get straight this time. Hopefully no heat damage, hopefully no stress on my hair and it will go back. Yeah, I'm gonna be probably for about a month. I'm gonna try and stretch this out for a month. Maybe I'll do some um, like how I keep my hair, how I try and maintain it, the products and stuff I use. I'll do that in another video because this one is gonna be so long. Oh my gosh, what's the time? Oh my goodness, 7.38. So it took me a while. I think maybe because I was stopping and starting and recording and trying to like make sure I was in the angle and stuff like that. So probably if you, you can cut off about 20 minutes or so of that time. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for keeping me company while I've been doing this long wash day process um i can't remember who it was they did mention on my um nikki clark air styling review video if i could do a straight hair um video kind of thing and i know it's been a long time but like i was saying i was staying away from heat so so yeah all right i'm gonna go now i'm gonna stop going on and on and I realise I'm looking in the wrong place. I'm looking here and I should be looking here. I'm so sorry. Like I said, I haven't recorded. I haven't been in front of a camera for maybe nine months. Oh my gosh, that's a long time. Is it nine months? No, it can't be nine months. No, it's not nine months at all. I'm lying. It was maybe September. Actually, I can't remember, but it's been a long time. When did I do the hair video? Why am I going on and on? Anyway, it's been a very long time <laughs> since I've um, been in front of the camera. So I'm so rusty, but I'm hoping... Listen lockdown has really oh, this whole lockdown thing this whole you know situation that we're all in has really kind of helped me to look more into myself and try and really deal with the things that are bothering me and one of the things that i really want to do is focus on my hobbies focus on the things that i enjoy doing and that will really help lift my mood as well so like doing videos and stuff is a real hobby of mine so i'm going to try and do that more this year so yeah join me for the for the journey thanks again for watching bye I have my, I have an energy, I definitely don't want to, I definitely don't want to, thanks again for watching, oh my item.